The canoe is a bigger story than us. The canoes carried people into the story for thousands of years, for generations on generations. The canoe is just a vessel to carry us into this story. Together with Bunjalung canoe maker Kyle Slab, veteran paddler Mark Matthews, and the local indigenous communities, they set out to make traditional canoes that they would then paddle from the heart of the Gold Coast to North Stradbroke Island. It's a story of connection, not just between the Bunjalung Yugambe people and the Kwandamooka people, but between generations, between black and white, between land, sky and sea. It's a story of collaboration, whether it's made from bark or dug out, no one makes a canoe alone. It's a story of cooperation. The paddlers must work together if they are to get anywhere. And it's a story of continuance, of ancient knowledge now held by just a few, of ensuring that tomorrow's elders are brought along for the journey today. You reckon you'd get across Australia in it? Easy. Will they make it through these shark-infested waters? Will the canoes hold together in the wake of massive modern vessels? Can Kyle and Mark's knowledge be secured in the next generation? A generation swamped by distractions and drowning in information. A lot of young fellas, they're all in there, into their phones and that now, and the alcohol and that. And they get distracted from what the, from all the culture side of things. But it's good that we can still get out here and hopefully after this we can keep on carrying it on and getting heaps of other young fellas out doing it. What will it mean to Allman to experience a cultural journey rarely afforded outsiders? Jarla said you should see this your part in this through to the end and I said maybe I already have. There's still a bit to paddle. Yeah, there's still a bit to go, so we'll get it done, and then we'll eat. 